Good morning and welcome to this new uh, August webinar. On the today's uh, webinar, I'm going to show you how to make a two-tone wedding band with the stones uh, in just in the in the middle. And this is a video that we already did uh, on Rhino Goal uh, two years ago. And the video that we made wasn't uh, parametric. I will show you today how to make it totally parametric. So first, we will start with the ring rail. So we have the ring rail ready. And now what I will do next is use the profile placer. So I said this tools and profile placer. All right, from the profile picker, I can pick any profile that I want. I think that this one will be okay. And now we just set up what measurements do we want. So five by two, it's okay. So this will be the shape for this uh, for this wedding band. I activate the auto sweep. So inside the same um, tool, I already have the ring done. So as you can see now we have a nice wedding band. Just to let you know, you can always have all the metal weights from this. Uh, you can go to view and we have the metal weights. So now here we have the metal weights. So if I select this and calculate You have the weight just here, okay? So is uh, on the metal that we have selected, that is the 40k, is 5.22 grams. If I just unselect it, I have the weight for all the different alloys, okay? So you can choose to have just the metal that you have as a default, or the weight for all the the metal. So now you have the weight for this ring, what is very very convenient. Okay, next step. Now I want just to make, you know, a line uh, through all this ring that is where I'm going to set all the stones. So what I will do is, again, I will select the ring rail. And on that ring rail, I will use again the profile placer. So I go to profile placer. I will use a profile that I already have here. That is the, that is rectangle. Select. And now I want to set the stones 1.3 millimeters. So I want a width of 1.5. I'll make it a bit higher. And I will just move it like this. Okay. And what I will do now is another one here. The same dimensions but I will move it not like like the one that we have at the top here. because now from the top view we will add another one here and this one let me go to the more views So if this one is on the right hand, I want this on the left hand. I will move it just a bit. Okay. And I will do exactly the same on the other side. And I will also move it the same that I did with the last one. Okay, something important that I forget to do is just to avoid any problem with the polyans. I will just move them a bit lower. Like this. And I will do the same to all the profiles. This. 
Okay. I will do the same to this one. Okay. And the same to this one. Okay. Next step is the sweep one. So I select this green rail. I can use the sweep one or what I could also do. So I can just click the middle mouse button and I click sweep one and I select all the profiles. This one and this one and I enter and I just say that I want to close it. So I already have the profile. Or what we can also do, edit and do activate auto sweep. And in just one click, I get auto sweep. Okay. What we need to do now? Now I will start to play with the solid, the boolean. So select first surface, which is the first sur surface. And select the second surface. And now I have the boolean to a uh, tool opening here, and I would say that I want a boolean difference. Okay, so this is what I get. Enter. This is perfect. So now I already have the two uh, parts, but here in the middle is where I want to place the stone. So I'm missing this piece of metal. How I'm gonna add the piece of metal here? I will go where I have these two parts that I've been using to do the boolean hide it. I will show them. So I can go here and click on show and go here and click on show. So again, I have both of them. So now what I will do is just again make a boolean between this part and Poly surface. Enter. And now instead saying a difference, what I want is a intersection. And there we go. Now if I go to the render mode, I can apply another metal here. Let me go to the render to apply another material. I will add in this one cross call. Okay, so now I have this ring. If I ungroup these two parts, I will have the two parts. And I have this, this middle part. So now that we have this, the cool thing is that I have the total control. What do I mean with that? Is that, let me go back to plastic. If I select ring rail and instead a 7, I want a 10 and a half. Everything recalculates very, very easily. Okay, so I can change any size. If I want uh, five, again. And what I can also do is just go to the first profile placer that I have been using, edit, and now maybe I want not this profile, maybe I want this profile. Select. Enter, and again, I change the profile, and I still have this nice ring that I, again, can change it to any finger size. What happens if I use another profile? I will use now this one. Let's see what happens. Just keep in mind that sometimes if the profile is higher, maybe the result won't be the one that we want. But look at this. Still, we're getting this shape that is amazing. Okay. So 
so you just need to print the three different parts put them together and you will have a very, very nice ring and as I said you can change the size at any time okay let's get back to the profile that we had at the very beginning that was actually this one because now what I want to do is to add a stones okay so the first thing that I want to do is apply a stones to all this area to do that what we will be using is not this surface we will be using this surface and this is the little trick okay so I will say on this let me show it on this surface go to the on this surface I want to extract the isocrew so here I will put it in the 0 0.5 so now we know that this is a dot which is just in the middle all right so now we have this and now what I will do is just on this ISO curve I will apply gems gems on curve okay and I will say that I want them from the 0 to the 1 so we'll have gems all around okay target object will be not this one the booleans so the stones are following you know the shape of the ring and now what I will also do is just bring the stones the placement placement lower okay if you see that there is some stones that are a bit higher we have a very easy way to control this and it's just moving the profile so I just go to this profile edit and I just move it a bit under and there we go so everything looks nice okay now we have the stones let me again hide this one click on hide perfect what I will do next is select the stones I can select them from here clicking on the right button on your mouse and I will use the cutter because I want you know to have a nice channel cutter here so these are the stones we want this a bit higher to avoid any problem and it's just the stones uh, one placement with one millimeter let me go to wireframe I just want this a bit okay all right so now I believe that I have almost everything so we have the channel cutter so what I will do is to this part I will use so first I will select solid boolean and to this part I will take out the cutter so the boolean difference and look what are we getting and now I will do the same to this part because as you know we still have the channel cutter here so if I go and do show I show the channel cutter and now what I can do is say okay again I will use the boolean dynamic boolean and to this original part I will remove this part boolean difference and look at this it's perfect what I'm missing here we need to hold these stones 
This is why I'm gonna use next. I will use next. And this jumps the settings, the prompt placer. I want them a bit more thicker. So now at 0 0.5, I will put 0 0.6. Enter. Okay. This was just what I was looking for. You know, I don't like this area, and this is one of the good things about Matrix Call, that you are able to make any modification at any time. First, if when I have a look to this, I want this profile or the width, the toe width of this ring, a bit uh, wider. So I want this if it's now five millimeters I can go to edit and now I will say I want it 5.5 enter and done in just one click everything recalculates because it's parametric something else I think that I have the gap between the stones and the border is uh, too much so I want a bit less um, the only thing that I need to do is just go to the channel cutter edit and instead one millimeter with the star I will say one enter and look now <laughs> very easy I can make any change Okay. Um, what happens now if the customer comes in and says, you know, I feel like this ring is too tight. The only thing that I need to do is just go to the edit the finger size and instead of 7, I will go to an 8. Enter. And now we have a finger size 8. So I recalculate everything I have the stones everything is recalculated so no problems at all so I hope you like it uh, as you can see you have many many possibilities with all the stack that you have here you can make as many changes as you want now it's time for you to practice let us know if there is any part that uh, you don't know how to make it Contact us at any time and we will be more than happy to help you. Enjoy it.